This is a video check the Saturn Iron. I use this all the time. Um, it's highly recommended for a electronic technician and it's really easy to use once you learn how to use it. The tip you can normally replace it every two to three weeks depending on how much work you use it with. Your regular vacuum pumps or the soldering iron or the soldering tool is nothing compared to what you can use with this. This is two in one. This is the iron. You have your heating element and this guy right here and this sucks it by pushing the ball in. You put your lead or your component at the tip which you can see right there. Now I've seen video reviews of this guy just ripping through a board just constantly. You want to take when you use this I'm going to move this down so I don't have to go too far up. When you use this on a circuit board, take and at least allow a couple of seconds before you take this, the uh, component out. Now after you suck that out, you have to squeeze it and spit it out. I normally use a candle jar because the wax will suck up the solder. Sometimes you just, once you got the solder going, you just move it around the lead gently and you can remove whatever component you just you soldered, like that piece of wire. And it's really easy to use. And it's not too expensive. Less than $15 on Radio Shack. But there is some little bit of maintenance that you have to do. Uh, every now and then you have to sh clean out the chamber of the, where the bulb is, but it's not that hard. Probably one of the best soldering things you can use in a cheap environment. Now, I was telling you about cleaning. Two areas you need to keep clean lightly clean this. Do not clean it with sandpaper. If you got a wire brush, use the wire brush around the tip up here. Do not get solder. Don't solder with this. If you solder with this, you'll create a hole and then your suction will be useless. This shaft here will get clogged every now and then. So, you kind of have to Forcefully take that off. It's just got a metal o ring around the end. And then you take like a co clothes hanger, like I just cut off a corner of it. And you just run it up and down like you would for a, like a gun. And most of the time you can just tap out whatever soldered in there. And then just put your ball back on. And then you're ready to go again. It's really easy to use. Um, simple project to use for stuff like that. I highly recommend it. Let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, thanks for watching the video. And check in again soon and I'll be uploading more. Thank you.